The following demonstration was recorded live over the public internet using a standard web browser. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to show you a few examples of how to expose real-time data and allow your users to uh, review and interact with it. What you're looking at now is a web page uh, built over a backend, uh, accessed over the public internet through a standard web browser. This is Mozilla Firefox out of the box and there are no plugins or helper applications. What you're about to see uh, uses only core browser functionality. There are four aspects of this page that I'd like to uh, take you through. The first is this market overview section. This uh, plot is a, you can think of it as your generic chart or graph. Um, as you can see, there are specific data points that then make up lines or trends and we're also rendering the the area uh, underneath the plot showing volume or uh, the value that way. Uh, this is a real-time representation, so I'm recording this video at uh, just slightly before 2.30 in the afternoon, and the data represents that. Now there is a uh, additional feature here going on uh, behind the scenes, and that is, can we see the overall uh, trend? We can also say, okay, well, the data peaked here. Uh, when was that? And we can see that it's uh, at 12.03 uh, this afternoon, and the market value was 10,622 points. Uh, we can see that at 10.15 uh, this morning, it was 10,212 points. And we can see that our last data point was at 2.24 p.m. at 11,437 points. So this kind of interface gives your users not only uh, access to real-time summaries, but then also very easy drill downs into the specific points that make up the trend. The second area I'd like to draw your attention to is this leaderboard section. Um, because you can uh, not only want to show uh, a single data sets trend, but you might want to show multiple data sets for comparison. And that's what's going on down here. In real time, we're getting uh, information for multiple companies, uh, including their uh, current market value, um, the last change, and the last change represented as a percentage of uh, their overall value. And so what you'll see here is not only uh, the numbers update as uh, data updates are retrieved from the back end, but also these sparkline charts will update automatically. And so very quickly you can at a glance compare the history and current value of multiple data sets uh, at the same time. The third uh, example on this page is this headline section. Now this is a little different because we're not rendering a chart or, or data visualization uh, per se. But what we are doing is accessing a public RSS feed. This one's from Reuters. It's their uh, public business news feed. And so when this page loads, it goes out to the web, accesses that RSS feed, pulls the most recently published articles, and begins cycling through them. And so you can, you can not only see it cycle through, but you can also get a look at the article list. And this will, uh, as Reuters publishes information, uh, that will come through the RSS feed and be rendered here on our page. And so we can, uh, for instance, see that Walmart uh, is cutting money transfer fees for the holidays. So um, in, the, in the world of, of content syndication, it's very easy to now pull this data in alongside your web pages, your dashboards, and your other uh, online uh, data sets. The last thing I'd like to show you is this markets and industry section. And what you'll see here is multiple data sets uh, rendered over top one another. This is a representation of uh, global and even extraterrestrial uh, markets. And so we can see those values over top of one another. We can also see uh, here, if we go into industries, we can see how the airline industry, the energy industry, nonprofits, pharmaceuticals contribute to the overall market through a pie chart here. And so there are multiple different visualizations you can give to a data set, whether a line graph or a pie chart or a bar chart, um, high, low, mean uh, plots, etc. But I wanted to make one specific point, 
And that is, unlike uh, other charting methodologies, this is uh, only transferring the data points themselves from the back end. So for instance, these images are not being rendered on the back end and sent over the internet. And that means uh, a few different things. First, performance will be very, very fast because the only thing coming across the internet is the data itself, not necessarily the images. Secondly, what that means is because the data is all in the browser, you can manipulate it and, and change uh, the visualization accordingly. So for instance, um, if we wanted to show uh, the United States not in this uh, bluish purplish color but in yellow we can do that or if we uh, don't want to show United Nations data we can remove that from the plot and so now your users have dynamic charts that are customizable to their preferences we hope you've enjoyed this demonstration everything you've seen has been shown over the public internet in a standard web browser with no plugins or helper applications for more information on how to harness this kind of technology for your enterprise, please call us at 800-388-1850 or visit us online at www.solvepoint.com.